So we're starting April and Sue's week of fun. Hi, Sue! We're at Margarita's in Framingham, Massachusetts. And we're going to toast to a wonderful week. Woohoo! Clink! So we are aboard the beautiful Norwegian Dawn, and we are still in dock. And behind us is the Seven Seas Navigator. I've never actually seen two ships in Boston at the same time, so this is kind of exciting. Um, we are waiting for lunch, and it's a beautiful sunny day, and it's starting to warm up, so yay. Okay, we are in our stateroom. We have an obstructed ocean view stateroom, room 8082. These are the beds. They're conveniently already split for us. This is our view of lifeboat. You can actually see right through it to port, so it's not as obstructed as one would think it would be. Thank you, Sue, for demonstrating. You're um, and this is where the TV and the closet, and off to the left is the bathroom. Now, what's funny that I've already discovered about this is the remote control. Do you notice any markings on the buttons? Nope, because there aren't any there. <laughs> We're going to ask for a new one and see how that works out. Anyway, that's it. I'll be back. building that we came out from. I love that bar too. In a second I'll show you the other side. And here's the other side of the harbor. And we're panning, we're panning. I don't know what that factory is, but it's really big. You can't really appreciate it in the video, but it's huge. And we're sailing away, we're turning around. Bye Boston! Oh cool! We got a plane land. back to the room to check if our luggage came and it did and we have a little goodie we've got some chocolate covered strawberries and I ate one in there yep. so we're on our way to Bermuda we're having Cosmos in Manhattan and it's a beautiful day at sea it's probably in the mid 60s a little breezy the water's fairly calm and we had a cruise critic meet and greet this morning which was really nice and we're just waiting for Cagney's to open for lunch we're at breakfast at Cagney's and there's a beautiful rainbow outside. Check that out, so cool. better shot of the pilot boat coming in to join us. And here we are docking in Bermuda. Yay! Beautiful. And over there is the commissioner's building. You can see the roof damage. That's where the webcam for the port usually is. And we should be docked in just a short while. Dr. Bermuda. We're waiting for the shuttle over to the clock tower mall and I thought I'd do a quick shot of the ship. And there she is. Looks like we're the only ship in port so far. I don't know if anyone else is coming in later or not, but usually they do. Yeah, let's check in. Are you bored with us? I think you're bored yeah. with us. We've been trying to lure this chicken over here with balking and balking, and it doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> That's soon not the chicken. So we're at the Fog and Onion Pub, and we got some nice pretzels, just like my dad would have if he were here. And they're yummy. We're in a cute little alcove. With all the flags and the skylights and everything like that. And over here is the Frog and Onion Pub, where we've got a musician playing all kinds of stuff. All right, we're on our way to our stateroom. Here's the funny little zigzag we have to take. We have our very own private hallway. We're the only stateroom on this hallway. And we're on the right-hand side. Here we are. So I thought it might be interesting, because you don't usually get an up-close look at lifeboats if you're lucky. 
so I thought it would be interesting to get a little view of the lifeboat because you don't really see them unless you're very unlucky. So this is what the inside of one of the lifeboats look like. This is one of the big ones with the cover and the pilot boat and everything like that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, we walked up to the top deck to Bimini, which is unfortunately closed. But look at the beautiful lights by the pool. Check this out. They changed to blue and purple and red. Very neat. Yellow, green, then back to blue. And over to the right, we have a lovely view of Hamilton. That's not the moon, that's a lamp. Okay. I'm getting reflection on all the glass. <laughs> Let me get to a space. There we go. There's a good shot. So we're still docked in Bermuda and I'm watching the Liberty of the Seas turn around very rapidly to dock itself. Just got here today, we got here yesterday. It's kind of interesting at the speed at which she's spinning. Really ships in my experience don't turn quite that fast. It's kind of choppy and kind of windy today, but the sun is out so it should be comfortable. And I'll catch you later in Hamilton. Flanagan's, we tried the pickled onion, which was our original plan, but they weren't pleasant there, so we moved up the road to this cool place, and I got a Bob's Bermudaful, which is this lovely thing. So the ladies room at Flanagan's apparently have little TVs over the sink for no reason I can figure out. So we're finishing off our day in Hamilton. Here's a view of downtown. It's beautiful. Had a little bit of rain. Nothing crazy. It rained on us for about three minutes. And that's it. And then here's the ferry. And I don't think you can really see it. So we stopped at Blue Lagoon for dinner and they canceled our Bermuda Triangle night cruise because the water is really choppy. I don't know if you can tell, but um, it's very rough, extremely windy. It's like 78 degrees, but it feels more like 60 because it's so rough. Um, so anyway, we're going to hang around probably King's Wharf tomorrow and enjoy the rest of our time for Bermuda. So we learned an interesting thing at the Cruise Critic meet and greet the other day. Apparently there used to be many teak lounge chairs on the promenade deck. But the Coast Guard told them that there were too many chairs and that they couldn't use them because they would be in the way in a muster drill in case of an emergency. So they replaced them with 12 chairs of the light variety so that in the event of a muster drill the 12 chairs can be thrown overboard. <laughs> So we're walking through King's Wharf and there's a little chicken with his cute little baby chicks. I'm trying to get a little closer before he runs away. They're absolutely adorable. They're so tiny. They're hanging right by this little bicycle. There's a little one that got left behind. So cute. So we're sitting out here by the pool deck and we looked out the window and we spotted one of the Oracle sailboats, which they're using in the, uh, or they use in the America's Cup World Series. So that's it, sailing right next to our ship, very cool. Um, you can see the Oracle Mass, that's their sponsor. They came, they are currently ranked second and Sweden is ranked first based on the America's Cup World Series races that took place the day we got here. So that's for USA, go USA! We're going to be having the full America's Cup race here in 2017. The island's going through all kinds of preparations to, to be ramped up for that. So this is Calico Jacks. We didn't get to go there because it was missing on Sunday and it's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, but it was on our list of things to do. Has one of the taxis. That's Calico Jacks, in case anyone ever wondered. So we're at the Dockyard Pastry Shop for afternoon tea and here's our little tower and a little teapot video <laughs> not talking to myself i swear <laughs> clotted cream and strawberry jam and butter and milk and it looks so good but that's our little tower of sandwiches and pastries and we're leaving bermuda Hi, clock tower. there's walk over this way a little bit there's a marina that's how you walk to get over to the ship. So we left Bermuda yesterday and we're at our first of two sea days on the way back and it is the flattest, calmest water I've ever seen in the Atlantic. It's amazing. It's calmer than the Caribbean even. It's 
So that is all the view of the water. cruise we've had a little goodie waiting for us in the stateroom and today it is compliments of all the officers staff and crew of the Norwegian Dawn and if you take this off we already ate one don't hold it against us they're little chocolates very fancy little chocolates the one we ate was so we're disembarking this morning and I thought I'd take one last shot of my fantastic Tunisian vanilla French toast 